Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing an early lineup build for the showdown slate tonight. Um, One million dollars for first, if you can take it down all by yourself. But we're going to show you at least my process for uh, at least one way to uh, approach this kind of MME lottery um, on this fine Monday between two very, very good teams. Uh, you would think that we would know where all the production is going so we know all these players, but when you're playing kind of a lottery tournament, you have to kind of go elsewhere. I just want to show you the process that I'm going to employ at kind of as I'm doing it. So first thing I want to do is I want to just upload my projections, uh, which we've already put up on TrueDFS somewhere. Um, hopefully it uploads. Let's take a look. If not, it's fine. We could use the, um, we'll use the, uh, not, let's see this. Okay, they're all there. So let's save them. And the first thing you have to do is figure out which guys you're going to X out that are in your player pool. Um, so you have Grant K K K Calchetera. And then all these other guys with less than one point. So let, let's get rid of these. Because if you don't X them out, you're going to end up getting to some of them. Boston Scott. All right, I think I'm done with Boston Scott. Fine. Rashad Penny. I mean, I have to believe that it's going to be just Gainwell and, um, and uh, Swift. I just can't put a third running back in. But who, who is the Grant Calchera? We're going to have to do a little bit of research on him. Let's, let's, let's take a look, actually. Let's just see if he's gotten any snaps, he's gotten anything at all. Okay, so he's the second tight end, I guess, with zero targets. Um, oh, I see. So we have, he has the opportunity to increase it with Dallas Goddard out. Okay. Ruled out here. 2002 sixth round pick. Albert O was the third string tight end. And Jack Stoll. All right. So this is what we're looking at here, right? So I guess if, if Goddard's out, this is going to be kind of the deal with this slate, I imagine, right? Because we're going to have to figure out who the tight end is going to be. All right. Let's look at some of these projections, I guess. Um, Jack Stoll, I would imagine, would be popular. No? I, I, I'm not seeing it that way, but I mean, who else is it going to be besides Jack Stoll? I guess Albert O has a chance. And then this other guy, which we're going to have to use, this Grant Calchera. So how are we going to deal with the projections? So first, Grant Calchera is getting – oh, he's only three. So I, I guess – again, I don't want to get too kooky about this. I think I'm just going to go – I'm going to change these to the same projection. Like Altera, Albert O, and this is just like my own opinion, I guess. You got to make Stoll higher. Put him like a five, I guess. I mean, the real reality is that he's probably not going to throw any of these guys, but whatever. Um, other guys that are showing up at zeros are like Clyde Edwards Lair and Blake Bell. I just want to make sure before I etch these guys out that they're not getting like usage that I, I'm not aware of. Because I did notice you get a target here and here and there. I don't think in this game, I mean, it's going to be the Blake Bell show, right? I mean, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, you know, these are two top teams. I imagine they're going to be putting their, their best players. So, um, I don't think Blake Bell is going to get in there. But you have to put in this kind of work before you actually X him out. Now, let's look at the Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. 
only because I've heard of him, right? All right, so Clyde Edwards Hilaire has mean, he was sick and then he had, he missed week nine. I mean, I don't know. Got a couple of, I'm not, I'm not leaving him out. A target here, a target there. Yeah, so I'm not going to leave him out. As a matter of fact, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna boost him up a little bit, just for just for the hell of it. Move him up to say three points. Uh, Julio and Zacchaeus, yeah, they're they're both both in there. I'm gonna make them both the same though, just because they're receivers. I might just have to make them higher than say Julio. I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guys from Philadelphia. And I think I got to make all these guys the same. Uh, maybe I could put t Tony a little higher. Wouldn't you think? Then like Zacchaeus, doesn't that make any sense? Yeah, so Tony's just got to be higher than Zacchaeus. I'm going to make Hardman a little bit less than Tony. And this is just my own just kind of weird opinions. No, okay, Noah Gray. He's the one that could probably get, you know, a sneaky one. So we'll give him three. Maybe we'll put him four, maybe ahead of the Philadelphia second string tight ends. And then again, I, I can't really put one of these guys any more than the other. I mean, why is I, I can't okay, I can say that Justin Watson. Now, if Jerry, if I'm gonna bump up uh, what's his name? Hilaire, I probably should bump up McKinnon too. A little bit. I think everything else I'm just probably going to keep the same. There's no reason to mess with the top guys. All right. So those are kind of the messing messings around. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to fire. All right. So we're going to build 100 lineups. Oh, excuse me. We're going to build 5,000 lineups. Uh, we're going to put a minimum salary of 40,000. And we're just going to build. Now, while that's happening... I want to go in here and check a couple of things. One of them is that how many people are in this tournament. So there's going to be 118,835. And the reason why I mentioned that is because we are going to try to win this, I think, by ourselves. So to try to win it by ourselves, we have to, um, you know, get unique lineups or just really close. Well, to win it ourselves, we need unique lineups. So let's let's see what's needed to do that. So this is our geo mean sp uh, spreadsheet. I mean, we have to input how many players are in the lineup, which is six, and the number of entries, which are what did we say? Uh, one eighteen eight thirty five. Let's see, uh, one hundred eighteen thousand eight hundred thirty five lineups, and let's say we want only one dude. So we need a, <laughs> to get a unique lineup. You need to have a line up with a geometric mean of less than 14.2 pretty much so i'm just curious what happens if we put a zero here what happens nothing right okay all right so what we're going to try to do after we build these lineups is we're going to try to get a geometric mean of 14.2 and just kind of see what that looks like I, i'll give you a hint it's not going to look really pretty I mean, that that's a low owned bit of business, you know, um, you're going to probably end up getting like a ton of like Clyde Edwards Hilaire or Albert O or even, you know, maybe Jack Stolen, the captain or something like that. Um, so you're going to have to make a value judgment of how, of what your will, what your, what is it from the untouchable, uh, the untouchables, but what are you willing to do now? Uh, that's absolutely the worst Sean Connery impression I think I could ever dream up. I do a better job of it when I uh, imitate him in Celebrity Jeopardy, but that's for another time. Um, I guess we may as well put the contest sim settings in just for fun. So it's going to be 100. Well, it's probably in here already, right? Yeah, the Mega Millions in here already. Um, actually, it's this one. We. Uh, we're just calling it, call it a lot of, it's the best we can call it. We're going to save settings. I'm going to do that. And let's put in the reasonable one, the, uh, 
the uh, the two twenty two. I don't know how to look for them though. It's like you gotta find it somewhere. Not the not the qualifier. Oh, this is gonna be a crazy. Not this is a crazy game, right? DFS wise. Wild cat luxury, but oh yeah, it's two point conversion. All right, so we'll call that two point settings. And then let's just let's just see what we get here. I'm just curious what a 14.2 geometric mean own lineup is gonna look like. And again, I made these kind of random. Oh, you know what? I forgot. See, this is what I did. I made Sky Sky Morch a little bit below. That's going to mess things up. But nonetheless, all right, let's um, let's let's just see what we can do. Let's let's do filter. We're going to add filter, and we're going to do a well. We, now we change. We do geometric mean. Geometric mean less than. Let's just. Can we even get any? Let's see, 14.2. There's just no way, but let's see. There's no way. You can get 55. 55 of my 5,000 lineups have a geometric mean of 14.2 or less. And just to give you an idea of what that is, as I suggested, look at your captains. You have C. Edwards Hilaire, A. Agum. Let's look at some of these. Uh, let's go. This is... You want to get take down the Millie by yourself? This this is what these are what your captains look like. You have 41% Clyde Edwards Solaire, 40% Albert O. And then like who's what's the first like reasonable captain you find? Like DeAndre Swift. So there are some with like relatively normal captains. So what what are we gonna do when we get this? Should we put all 55 of these in? Probably, right? For a million bucks, let's go. Um, one thing I will say is that, God forbid, he does catch two touchdowns. <laughs> oh goodness, you do have all the other guys in the lineup. Actually, you don't even you don't even have Antonio Brown. Oh, you do have AJ Brown here, don't you? So. That's one thing you can do is just take these 55 lineups and throw them up there. The next thing you can do is maybe be a little less. Let's see. Instead of 14.2, let's let's see if you want to do we're allowing one to And so we have geometric move say 16. If we put a geometric mean of 16, and that's that's not gonna look good either, but by the way, but see if we can at least get a hundred. Okay, so at least you can get a hundred lineups. But again, this is this is this is what you're getting. Uh Alberto and Clyde Edwards. However, eh, you're getting the little guys you've heard of now, huh? You know, you could, you know, there there are 12, 21, 30, 35, 38, 41, 43. There are 40, 43 lineups or so with like actual players in the captain. So you could take those if you want, you know, you could, you could X out, you know, take the ones that are not Alberto or Clyde Edwards Hilaire or Grant, take those out. Or like I said, you can get a little less greedy. Let's say if you want to do three number of dupes, all right, 17.1 is the next break point. Let's see what those look like. Geo test. Or geo mean either one on my on my screen 17.1 and all right, we finally got to 100 lineups so that's good news and you will you will see by the way that you do have Patrick Mahomes in 16 of them Hertz in 10 is 26 33 40 so you have you know I can get you 50 or so good lineups I mean with actual captains if we play this way. I mean, I can't help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to put Alberto in the cap. And by the way, you see why this is happening, right? The reason why this is happening is because they have Alberto at 0.1 percent ownership in the cap, and and Clyde Edwards here 0.05 ownership in the cap, and, and Grant 0.49 in the cap. Um, 
Now, what you could do is you could try to etch these guys out and then whatever. But another thing you could do is I want to see how many lineups I can get. I'm, I'm going to get to do this for a reason. Let's see if you can get 150. Yeah, you can get 150 with these filters. So if I'm going to play 100 lineups, what I'd like to do is get as many lineups as I can in this field such that I can play my 100 without Alberto or Clyde Edwards Hilaire or Grant, um, whatever's in Grant Dawson or in, in here. You can X them out, but then then and then it'll make then it'll get then it'll get mad. Okay. So I don't want to rebuild the whole thing. So what you could do like from here, let's we just do manual stuff. So so if we want to get rid of Alberto, it's 29. We get out of him, it's 50. Get rid of him, it's 39. Excuse me, that's 61, right? So we only need so now we're at 89. Yeah, so we can get 89 lineups if we take these guys out. Let's build, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do in a second. So let's let's make a 175, for example. Can we get there? Okay, we can. So now if we have 175, then again, we still have 29, uh, 40, 63. So yeah, so here. So, so this is what we're going to do. We will take out the Alberto captains. We will take out the... Um, Grant Calchera captains, and we will take out the um, Clyde Edwards Hilaire captains. So now we have, you'll see 112 lineups that do not have those guys as captains. All right. So then what we can do, do I mind any of these guys in the captains? No, I don't mind. Jarek McKinnon? Oh, he's only got the one. But let's be pure. Let's take him out too. Take out the Jarek McKinnon captain. Uh, Jake Elliott captain. Well, you know, we're going to leave him in. So we got 111 lineups. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these guys into – and look at all the Jack Stoll you're getting. You get 100% Jack Stoll? Maybe. We'll look at that later. Um, look, at the, look at all the Alberto. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these to our favorites. So save these to favorites. So now they're right over here into favorites. So now what we'll do is we'll go into favorites and we'll see what this looks like. So we have captain 23% Mahomes, like all these guys are normal, but then the flex, I'm afraid to look. Okay, not bad. So we get an 80% Tony. I mean, you got to start somewhere. And the rest of the flex are really, really normal, you know? So, so your only big stand to do this is playing like 79% Tony. Um, and you can always adjust off of that after a while. So this is actually a pretty reasonable set of lineups. And like, if you want to then, you know, you know, swap some, some Tony for something else, you know, a different receiver that you have very little of, like, let's say, uh, like Watson, well, that's a, that's an actually a really good one. Um, but actually he's 20% out, or you could swap to the sky more you know, and get a little less of Darius Tony, or um, you want to, you want to keep the similar ownership, like McCall Hardman, you could swap to him. As a matter of fact, I mean, you want to try this? Can we do, actually, we can't um, mess with it from here, the, the exposure, I don't think. We could try. No, we can't, because we're already in this favorite folder. But from here, we could just, we could just upload these right to my lineups. Boom. And we will go and put these in here, which we will do right now. Boom. And then what we'll do is just, just to, let's go back to my build, just to save something. Actually, you know, let's do a contest sim. This one, 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 this one. Now let's run a contest sim because I want to get the the the, uh, the 222 in there.
Oh, it's done, sir. Um, so let's put two point conversion. And this looks reasonable enough. This is like even too low. I don't even need this, but eh, why not? Um, so let's uh, put these in. Put this one into the 222. Save that. This should disappear. It does. Let's download these. And then we will upload these. And this is a good start. You know, you know, this is again you talk about process that that's that's the way you screw around with the different tools to get sort of what makes at least some degree of sense given the actual lineups that you want to play. I mean the actual contest that you want to play. All right, that'll do it for now. We're definitely gonna mess around with this a little bit more. And uh, uh good luck everybody.